Hi, Dom here from Essential RC with Sam on camera. Today I'm flying the Top RC Hobby FW190. This is an iconic German warbird that would go well with any other warbird in the series if you want to have a mini dogfight with your mate down the flying field. You get literally everything you need in the box to fly this. You get the transmitter, you get the double A's that go in the transmitter, four of those. You get the, uh, the FW190 itself, the battery, the USB charge lead, you get a spare propeller, you get fixed landing gear. Uh, we don't use that um, because we're flying off grass, it wouldn't, it wouldn't take off with those fixed landing gear. Good off a hard surface like a pavement or something like that, off tarmac, asphalt, but uh, not here today on grass. This is brilliant because, you know, it's blowing. If you look at the wind socks, Sam, it is blowing 25, 30 miles an hour today. There's no surprise, it's just us down the flying field, but we are that mad. We, we are come out and fly with Sam as long as it's dry. But this is great because it's got a stabilization system. You can, uh, you can see what the ailerons are, are doing. They're reacting to the gusts from the wind and trying to keep it level. And what I've got on here is a three position switch that gives me beginner, mid and expert modes. In beginner and mid modes, the stabilization is turned on and it will stop me from rolling in, uh, inverted or doing a loop-de-loop -loop to inverted. Fantastic for beginners. Mid gives you just more bank angle than beginner mode. Expert mode turns all that off so you can do exactly what you want and it's quite sensitive on the sticks. So if you're a first time flyer and you want to try RC, this is fantastic. But start off with beginner and mid modes. Let's fly it. Let's see how it goes. Here we go. Are you ready, Sam? Try and keep this in the viewfinder, mate. <laughs> I'll try and give you some low passes. We're away. Full power. And obviously I'm not going to go too far downwind because I wouldn't be able to come back. <coughs> But look at this. Woo! Lost it there. More like a kite! <laughs> in this weather, yeah. In this weather. It's been blowing all over the air. You can see the auto stabilization working. You can! Can you see it working hard to try and keep it, uh, to keep it level? Yeah. Quickly goes downwind. Yeah, it does. As soon as you turn and you go downwind, whoo, it's away. Now, the other thing that you've got with this is a button for aerobatics. That button there, and I'm going to try giving that a go. So let's get a little bit of height. Always a good thing to do when you're going to do with some aerobatics. And it did that all by itself in mid mode. All I had to do was press the button and then do a uh, do the right stick. Whee! Simple as that. Back the other way. I'm not sure if it'll do a loop. Should we try a loop? I'll come back a bit closer. So, click the button, pull. Oh, it does! So that time I pulled back on the stick and it did a loop. Fantastic. Do a roll again, the other way. <coughs> now that's expert mode. Oh! <laughs> Where did that go? <laughs> As I said, expert mode is super, super sensitive and probably best used on a calm day. But hold right there and I will show you one remarkable thing with this FW190. It's designed to withstand quite a hard crash. Wait there. I'm not a young man. I shouldn't be running around like that. But you see what happens here. Absolutely no damage, quite remarkable. 
and that really hit the ground hard but the propeller popped off and it's designed to do that all I'll do oh, if I line it up properly There, do you hear it pop back on? There you go, and you're ready to go again. So this is what makes these so ideal. The, that they're so durable, so easy to fly in mid and beginner modes, and they fly for such a long time. This will fly on a calm day, when you're probably not gonna be using full throttle, you're gonna be using half throttle most of the time. It'll fly for 20 minutes, even longer. So there you go. That's the top RC. FW190. The link in, that I'm going to put in the video description and the pinned comment is to the Top RC Hobby uh, product page. It'll tell you more about it, but if you want to buy one, you've got to Google for your local supplier. I'll be able to recommend, if you contact me through the Facebook page or through the YouTube channel, I'll be able to recommend where you can get one of these. But you can't buy them, unfortunately, through Top RC Hobby themselves. You have to buy it through a local supplier. Thanks to Sam on camera. We'll be back soon for another episode of Essential RC, hopefully on a calmer day. But we're gonna go and hide from the wind now before we do anything else. Thanks for watching, see you next time. Whoa. <laughs> You're making my job very easy, but you're trying to kill the cameraman in process. I'm Catch. I'm going to catch you next time round, Sam. Alright. Whoa! No! <laughs> no, I'm not. So there you go. Not the propeller off again, but it just clicks back on. And uh, got my finger, but no, no cuts. It's, it's really just a nice, simple thing to take down the park or your model flying club. Thanks again for watching. Thanks to Sam on camera. I'll be back soon. Thanks, bye.